Welcome. Welcome to the chat. Welcome to this new unpacking live stream with me, Jane. It's been a little while since I streamed something on my own, so um, bear with me. We're trying something new, trying for something um, very low key and relaxed and relaxing, hopefully. Low stress to no stress. Uh, we're going to be playing Unpacking, which is new on Game Pass. I'll be playing it on Xbox. It's also available on Switch. I have also been playing it on Switch because I really do enjoy this game very much. I've been um, keeping an eye on it uh, for a while. It's by Witchbeam. The studio is called Witchbeam and we played it, or we talked about it on the channel last year during PAX Online uh, when they had a free demo out on Steam, I believe. Anyway, this is all preamble while you come in and, and settle down and I sure hope you can see and hear me. I'm going to look at the chat right now and, and hope that I am talking to someone out there. How is it going, chat? Okay, looks good. Looks good, chat. Thanks. Thanks. All good. Like Spike for Small Jane, says 42339 online. This is Little Jane. Um, I'm going to stay down here in the corner. I'm just going to be Little Jane today. No, no big Janes, um, except for in the start screen and the end screen. So, um, so yeah. Welcome. Thanks for joining me. We've had a really nice reception, actually, to the to the concept of a relaxing stream, which after Halle Stream's Phasmophobia Fear Academy PT foolishness, I think we could all use a little time to unwind. So, if you don't know what unpacking is, well, why am I going to tell you? Obviously, I'm going to show you what unpacking is, and it's a fairly simple concept, so it doesn't really need me to describe it. Um, if you'd like the audio a little quieter, a little louder. Let's see how we get on and you tell me whether you can hear the good unpacking sounds, which I think are all part of the, the chill unpacking experience. You know, the rustle of cardboard, um, the sound of Febreze cans being placed on bathroom tiles, that kind of thing. Right, welcome everybody. Thanks for the positivity in the chat. We're going to be keeping it, keeping it very mellow here today. So um, match my energy. I hope you've got something to drink. Stay hydrated and um, yeah, we'll have a nice chill time. So, mm. okay, good. Let's get going. Before we do, Swift Index though says the triumphant return of the Solo Jane stream. Keep up the great work. And when in doubt, Eldritch Blast. Yeah, okay. Yeah, Eldritch Blast, but in a sort of chill, low stress way, if you can imagine a kind of ambient Eldritch Blast. Right, let's get going. This book belongs to Jane very much. This is the presentation of Unpacking, where it starts as a kind of photo album. And let me take you on a journey, friends, all the way back into the ancient mists of time to 1997. And, um, and we're presented with a, a very small, kind of cubic, isometric bedroom, um, such as maybe some of you knew in your own childhood. It is clearly a child's bedroom because, um, Ain't no way any adult is going to be climbing up that ladder. I mean, I speak personally, of course. Can you imagine the effort at the end of the day? I don't think I could get up a ladder into a bunk bed at the end of a work day. So no, strictly for children. Um, and our first item is a football. And uh, do you know what? I'm just going to pop that in the corner for now because I actually, spoilers, 
I know I know kind of what we're going to be dealing with here and I'm, I'm not entirely sure where I want to put the foot. So okay, here's the deal. We're going to take things out of the boxes. We're going to place things where we think they should go. And once we've taken all the things out of the boxes, the game is going to tell us whether we got it right or not, give or take. Like it's not super strict, but it will tell you if you've put a bathroom thing in the kitchen. Right now though, we've only got one room, so there's no there's no really wrong way to do this. I think you I think you can get things mildly wrong, but um there's no fail state. So So hooray, no fail state. Good. All right, there's my school backpack. I'm going to be role playing. This is obviously my childhood bedroom um although i never did win a, a soccer trophy a football trophy so um you got got me wrong there witch beam okay there's my art supplies of course and uh, a ruler just a single ruler i'm gonna put that on the desk for now but i'm sure we can find somewhere else to tidy that away um i will be checking the chat intermittently so um bear with me oh oh i know where secret diary goes secret diary goes under the pillow if you need to know where to put your secret diary that is also locked, under the pillow is the only safe place. Um, looks like some felt tips, possibly some Crayolas. Let's let's put all the drawing stuff on the desk and we'll figure it out later. Oh, except for a book. We're going to put a book up here. Because uh, that's where books go. Okay, this is some of my very own fine art. My favourite piece. I call it horse. And it's going to sit over my bed there. There's my piggy bank for all my savings. Do you not want to rotate, Piggy Bank? Oh, there we go. There we go. Of course, rotate is on B. Like I say, this is actually, um, it's an excellent Xbox game. It's an excellent PC game. It's also very um, soothing to play on a handheld switch on the sofa. So I fully recommend that. I think this is like, from the chunkiness of that book, it looks like some sort of, oh, wow. Is that the actual photo album? Is that the photo album that I just put my name on a second ago? That's, that's mind blowing, mind blowingly meta. Okay, there's a My Little Pony adjacent silver toy and my action figure. I'm going to put things in generally the right area. This is how I unpack. Put things in generally the right area and then we can refine as we go when we see what we're working with. This is my rhino superhero kind of sumo wrestler action figure and another My Little Pony. There you go. Let's get to the bottom of this box and then see how you're doing in the chat. I, uh, I won't leave you alone for too long. Hope you're enjoying this um, soothing electro music. I certainly am. Oh, this is <laughs> for anyone um, for anyone Gen Z, I guess, in the chat. This is a Tamagotchi. Do you Gen Zers know what a Tamagotchi is? You probably do. You've probably got newer and better and cooler Tamagotchis. Anyway, here's another plush toy and uh, a plush pig who is sort of the mascot, kind of the mascot of unpacking. Ah, and there's the portrait I've done. A fine art portrait of my friend, Mr. Pig. Oh, do you not want to go on the wall? Okay, you don't want to go on the wall. This is the kind of the kind of picture that has to be stood up. All right, I'm gonna put him on my desk. There we go. You won't be able to see him, but trust me, he's there. Um, oh, this is um, I forget the name. Is it like a Simon Says? It's like an electronic game where you have to hit the colours in the right order, something like that. And a boombox. Um, oh no, you can't put it on the windowsill. It's gonna block all the lovely natural light. Where would I put a boombox? I don't know. On the floor for now. We'll figure it out in a second. Cassette tapes. That's um, that's an audio format. Ask your parents. And another book. Books go on the bookshelf. I know that much. Another book for the bookshelf. And a big book for the bookshelf. You can go there. And that's our first box completed. How you doing, chat? Let's have a look. Okay, Stephen Byrne says, actually moving today, and this is a super meta way to help me stay chill about it. Thanks to you and the whole crew for all the great content. Well, Stephen, thank you for being here. Also, I think it's a damn shame that moving in real life can't be as, as chill and zen as unpacking is in unpacking. Do you know what I mean? The last time I had to move house, I had to handle so many cardboard boxes that it like sucked all the moisture out of my hands and I became a sort of papery mummy. Um, yeah, so that's no fun. I hope you're doing much better, Steve. <laughs> Dodger5277 says, Hello and thanks for the good content. I do have a physics question. Why do cats take two thirds of the bed no matter what the size? Well, you see there, Dodger5277, it's because cats exist not in a solid 
or fluid or gaseous state, but they're their own sort of uh, form of matter uh, that is expanding all the time. Uh, kind of like a super fluid, but not, if you like. And CJ Lister says, I spent the weekend tidying the girls, this girl's house while my own sank further into its own filth. Lovely chill game. Yeah. Yeah, we all could be tidying our own rooms, but they wouldn't be adorable pastel colours and filled with plush toys like this here. So you do what you can. I've also been tidying someone else's home in Animal Crossing. Not even my own home anymore with the Happy Holiday, no, Happy Holiday Homes, whatever it's called, the DLC, where you have to arrange other people's houses. Now I'm, now I'm not even designing my own home in Animal Crossing. I'm designing someone else's home in Animal Crossing. So I've just moved the responsibility even further down the chain. Okay, who else? Who else we got? Corvus Albright says, unpacking is much more easily accomplished after having several Jaeger bombs have one. Wow. Um, yeah, I feel like that would impact my efficiency at unpacking, but it would be enjoyable. Um, give me a minute. So such a lovely chill stream on my birthday. Happy birthday to you. Uh, give me a minute. Hope you're having a nice time. And Sean Homrich says, hi, Jane. This game looks great. Love my Hello Stream shirt. Once again, missed the dice, though. Thanks again for the content. Oh, I'm sorry you missed the dice. Um, there will be more coming, but they do take a very long time to make. Who knew? We're, we're just learning about the intricacies of dice manufacture. And um, actually, it takes a really long time to get them back in stock, but we promise there will be more to come. Okay, right. Um, okay, chats. Starboy K says, this stream is exactly what I needed. Just graduated in September and have been working my first proper job. Thanks for the chill stream and I'm sending good vibes to everyone. Starboy K, we appreciate, on behalf of myself and the hive mind, we appreciate your good vibes. Okay, wow chat. Wow chat, I appreciate you. And I'm trying to get through. Oh, they, we're, we're, we're working our way, there we go. Okay, I think we're about, we're, we're, we're kind of making our way. Um, okay, cool. I think we're gonna have to press on, get some more stuff unboxed in this unboxing video. Neefirth says, my birthday is Thursday, so I decided to get myself an Oxbox tea for myself. Got to treat myself to high fashion. Only the hottest couture by outside Xbox, obviously. Jared Lynn says, hey Jane, hope you've all been doing well. Um, sorry I haven't been able to catch the live stream. It's difficult with running my new warehouse in Texas. Hope your mum's doing well. Miss her tweets. Oh, right. I was like, my mum's not on Twitter, but occasionally I would blow up her spot by um, resharing re the amusing things she says. Anyway, Jared, I hope your warehouse is doing very well. I hope it's full of um, boxes much like these. T Slice says, hey Jane, love this game. A perfect choice for chill. Curious to see how you decorate. Monster Noodle says, here whilst waiting for my puppy to return from getting fixed and doing some uni work about Mozart. Very chill stream. And I love it. Good. We live to serve. Ben, ben M. Davis says, watching this as I'm writing a horror one shot for some work colleagues later. So this stream is the calm before the Frankenstein streamed, sorry, themed storm. All right. Well, we won't be giving you any inspiration, Ben, but um, hopefully we can, we can chill you out before the stress of running a one shot for your friends. Okay. This is some, oh, it's a, uh, okay, it's a top, you know, one of the uh, spinny top, I forget the, oh gosh, I forget the proper name, but it's like a little toy and you spin it. And there is a Rubik's Cube, and hang on, I'm gonna look it up, because the internet is right here, did you know that? And the internet knows all kinds of things. Uh, it's a dreidel, isn't it? It's a dreidel, there you go, that's the word for it. Okay, cool, now we know. There's my little waste paper basket. I will eventually put that under my desk, but I can't see under my desk now because the boxes are in the way. So that's going to go there. This is checkers, and that's going to go there. Procedure is kind of the off-brand, um, legally distinct uh, game of operation. That's another box done. So this is a very small room. This is your starter room. This is just, you know, showing you the ropes. You know, when you're a kid, you don't have to unpack an entire house. Your responsibilities are much fewer. And all you have to do is unpack your pastel scissors and your eraser, like so, and your dragon plushie. Now, I find in this game, I nearly always end up putting the plushies like on the bed because I imagine this is the kind of child who like arranges their stuffed toys on the bed and then every single night has to clear them off the bed and then rearrange them the next morning. In my head, that's how this is working. Okay, nice poster uh, of a dog who's gone to heaven. I think. Oh wait, no, that's that's way too much in the corner. We can do better. We can do better placement than that. Hang on. There we go. Uh, uh, uh. Like so. And another book. Because I'm a reader. More books. And 
a Game Boy. Okay, yeah. Um, here we go. The Kato. My little stuffed Kato. A lot of plush toys to move when you go to bed. And a big book. A Polaroid camera. La di da. I didn't have one of those. <laughs> That's cool though. That is cool. Oh, we just unlocked a sticker, I think. Oh no, sorry. We unlocked the ability to take photos in game. Right, okay, cool. Good. That is good. Flashlights or a torch, as we say here in the UK. Another book. Book's going over there. And that's a double decker London bus. I don't know that this is set in the UK. So perhaps this child has been on a family holiday to London. And this is the souvenir that they brought back with them. I want to put it, I don't want to put it down here on the bottom shelf. It needs to be somewhat on eye level. Otherwise, what's the point of having a souvenir if you can't see it? Skipping rope. It's probably going to go in the cupboard. Right. Boxes unboxed. Completed. Now, you can see here, this is the game judging me for not tidying away my stuff, right? This is the game as the disappointed parent who's like, you know your backpack doesn't live there. You know the boombox doesn't belong on the floor. So let's see if we can do a little better. Right. Now we have access to this drawer. I'm going to put some things away in the drawer. Some little things away in the drawer. Let's get the ruler away and the eraser, maybe the scissors. And I don't think the felt pens will go in there. So let's just let's put them to one side, clear a little space. Maybe we can move our portrait of Mr. Pig. There we go. And now we're, now what would work? What would I like to move? Okay, I'm going to put my board games in the cupboard. There we go, tidy them away. I'm going to put my skipping rope on the top shelf of the cupboard. And let's get access to the other door. I figure we can put a Rubik's Cube in there. Back there. There's no... Oh no, there is a zoom. Hang on, there is a zoom. Oh, right. Look at those glorious pixels. Get a look at that glorious pixel art right there. Um, okay, what else do we want? You kind of want a flashlight near the bed, don't you? Somewhere near the bed in case you have to get up in the night. So, pop that on the desk. And... Okay. Let's put our electronics together. I'm going to put my electronics down here. Eh. Like so. And my Tamagotchi can join it in the electronics section. Or can it? Or can it? Yeah, there we go. And my dreidel. Put that away as well, next to my skipping rope. And, and... Okay, now, the trophy has to stay out, obviously, because I won that by being the best at football. And I, I feel like I want my figurines on display. Okay. My My Little Ponies, we're going to do there. I'm going to put my uh, piggy bank away because that's precious cash and it needs to be protected. And what else we got? We've got boombox and cassette tapes. Now, we haven't, put, we haven't used these shelves very much, have we? Hmm, hmm. Okay, right, change your plan, folks. Change your plan. The soft toys, I mean, not the soft toys, the figurines are going to live over here. Uh, yeah, let's let's have them facing outwards so that you can see them from this side. The music's not very musicy right now, is it? I think it's um, it's in the quiet part of its loop. There we go. It's back. Cool. Oh, all right, hive mind. How's your week been so far? Gosh, can you believe it's only Tuesday? I, for one, cannot. Ah. <laughs> uh. I joke though, I joke. It's all good. It's all good and fine. I hope you're staying hydrated, getting the naps you need, getting the sleep you need, and just generally trying to minimise the stress in your life. Because, I don't know if anyone's told you, stress is really, really bad for you. Okay, I'm your mother, and I'm, now here's the real talk. Stress is really bad for you. Not just like unpleasant, it's actually bad for your health. So, the fact is, when you do something to relax, and de-stress. You're actually taking care of yourself. And I'm very proud of you. I'm your internet mom and I'm proud of you. Okay. Uh, this bag is going to go... Wait, where does this bag go? Uh, wait, where does it go? I guess under my desk. Yeah, that may, that's... Ooh, no, not under my desk. No, see, I have played this level before. Um, it will come back to me. Don't help me. Mum, figure it out. There we go. 
Okay, now I said I was going to move the football, but I actually quite like where it is now. You know, ready for a quick kickabout at any moment. So I am happy with that. There we go. There is our 1997, I think it is, childhood bedroom. How do we like that? I think we like that. Let's take a photo of it. Okay. Uh, let's get a frame. Let's get a... a fo Whoa, that's a little bit... A little bit high octane. Um... Mm, uh, magazine cover? Let's go for a little... Let's go for a Polaroid. Polaroid's cute. Alright, and some... Let's get some sparkles. Sparkles in the mix. Come on, sparkles. Oh wait, it's not sparkles, it's the filter, isn't it? Yeah, there we go. Kind of poppy filter. And there we go. Stickers. Alright, job well done. There we go. Done. And we have finished our first unpacking room. That is room one completed. I'm going to check the chat. Let's have a look at the chat. Okay. Right. Albert Green says getting a cavity filled in a few hours. Starting to think my dentist is leaving them around till me next visit. This helps me chill. Okay. Albert, no one loves the dentist. I specifically don't enjoy the dentist. But good on you for taking care of your teeth. Um, that's that's important, you know? You need those things. You need those things for food. Uh, Lily450 drops a super chat. Uh, sorry, a super chat. Thank you. Uh, Lily450 saying, enjoying a pumpkin spiced coffee and a chill stream. Loving this. Lily, I think that's the appropriate and official drink of the stream. Even though I don't, I don't have... I don't have a pumpkin spice latte. I've got some kind of like fancy fizzy fruit water, you know? So, hmm. I feel like even caffeine might be a little too much for me right now. Doug Shepard says, I like that this board game is called Procedure. I assume this child is going to be asking for more board games for Christmas, like sugar-filled treat territory or serpents and portable stairs. <laughs> yeah, right, exactly. All the off-brand, legally distinct, uh, Nasbro, let's say Nasbro and Patel board games. There we go. David Birchett says, What did the Game Boy do to harm you? Haha, <laughs> loving this stream. Did I? Oh, did I diss the Game Boy there? How dare I? Oh, okay. I'm gonna have to watch that back and figure out what I said. Um, okay, DGH says, Oh, um, well, says a lot of lovely things, but also thanks for the chill vibes and encouragement while I do uni work. You're extremely welcome, DGH. And I see you there in the chat, and I appreciate you being here very much. Thank you. Right. Okay. Okay. Are we ready to move on? I think we're ready to move on. I think we're ready to move on for now. Okay. Good. Good. Okay. Robin Tal Talibart, firstly though, says, If you guys ever fancy some sushi, come by Sushi Samba on Liverpool Street. You've got at least one fan in the kitchen. Okay, Robin. <laughs> I would love to do that. I had sushi for dinner last night. I'm a big sushi fan and um, I've never been to Sushi Samba, in fact. Um, it's just, how will I know when our one fan in the kitchen is working? Very hard to know. If I walk into Sushi Samba and say, can you check the kitchen for my fan? Will they throw me out? Because they'd be right to. They would be right to. Okay, right. Here we go. Let's press on to another room. Seeing as we're doing so well. Okay. Man. Sushi twice. Sushi twice for dinner in one week is... Is that too much sushi? I feel like it's, it might be too much sushi. All right, we've unpacked 1997, um, Jane said, uh, lying. I definitely still haven't unpacked 1997. And now we step forward in time to 2004. Okay. This is extremely nostalgic. I don't know if many of you had a beige CRT, anything like this. Maybe the family computer was a beige CRT, something like this. But there is something about this beige box that is extremely nostalgic to me. Now, I think in the tale that we are telling here in Unpacking, Unpacking the Story of a Life, of course, this is a dorm room. It has to be a dorm room, like a, a you know, a university accommodation, a college dorm room. As, as it is. Okay, this has to go sort of central, I believe. Right. What poster is this? It's a poster for Murmur, and I'm going to put it over this damp patch on the wall, um, because that's what posters are for. Uh, his book for my shelves. Now. Now this is, this is the age at which you have not just books to worry about, but also DVDs. Yes. DVDs, my friend. So um, we're going to have to leave some space on the shelves for DVDs. And I think the art supplies are going to have to kind of live on a shelf because 
we need all the real estate down here for our computer. Okay. Oh, okay. One of my favorite details about unpacking is that you can kind of tell what the DVDs are and they are so painfully era appropriate because I think you can tell, hang on, if I zoom in, this is definitely the Matrix on DVD, which I definitely owned and probably had in my university dorm room, okay? And well, hang tight, if you think that's nostalgic, hang tight for more nostalgic DVDs. Of course I say nostalgic, it's only nostalgic if this is your kind of era or you're really into the Matrix. So, um, so nostalgic for some and of historical interest to others maybe. Okay, here we go. Now this I think is Ghost World. Do you remember the sort of indie movie Ghost World? It had like a young Scarlett Johansson and I want to say Thora Birch. Let's check because the internet is right here with all the information. Thora Birch, Ghost World. Yes, it was in the 2001 movie Ghost World. Okay, here is my beige mouse, beige clicky mouse. And it wouldn't have been wireless, but I'll let you have it. I'm packing. I'm very kind like that. Uh, here's a um, psychedelic mouse mat, which obviously lives under the mouse, so like so. There we go. Um, I'm gonna roleplay as someone who's right-handed. Of course, the protagonist of this game may not have been, but um, let's go with that. Let's zoom out a bit. Okay, there is another ruler. Uh, and we said the art supplies would live up here, didn't we? So the art supplies can live up here on the shelf. I can reach that. I'm tall enough, I think. And, all oh, right, here is my my big girl journal not a secret diary anymore but a big girl journal now i did try putting this under the pillow again but i don't think the game will be will be allowing me to do that let's see how it goes because it's a big girl journal now it doesn't have to live under a pillow some books i'm going to say these are probably i don't know what these books are meant to be but i'm going to say there's probably some douglas coupland in there or something like that is that like a fitness video oh no it's like an anatomical drawing um, guide, you know, like a, a sort of reference book for artists, I, I believe, because of course, in this, in this alternate dimension, I am an artist. That's what I'm here studying at college. There's my record bag, so that's satchel, and I'm going to pop that on the bottom of this um, cupboard. There we go. Bottom of the wardrobe. <gasps> okay, right. Now it's important that you understand. I think I had this exact iPod. You know what, I'm not going to do this the whole stream where I'm like, and I had this, and this is also familiar, and that brings back all the nostalgic feels, but that is an incredibly accurate um, off-brand rendering of an early iPod. And in fact, did anyone else have one of those like iPod socks? I feel like Apple sold actual knitted woolen iPod socks to protect your iPod. Just... Just the balls on you, Apple, to sell people socks to put their iPods in. I can't believe you. I had a green iPod sock, and I feel like that's what this iPod is missing. Um, I'm probably going to end up putting it in my bedside cabinet, but I can't do that yet. So um, let's just put it there for now. And let's get some plaid shirts up in here. It's not college without a plaid shirt. And the t-shirts are going to live on the top shelf um, because you don't need to hang a t-shirt. Who do you think you are? We're not hanging our t-shirts up jeans on the top shelf as well because again as I've said I in this reality I'm tall enough to reach the top shelves and where am I gonna put my money maybe in my bedside uh, table so I'll put it there for now more t-shirts t-shirts live on the top shelf and I tell you what let's get to the bottom of this box and then I'll check the chat again because I want to see what you you folks are saying in there now this is the um the same one of the same figurines I had back in my childhood bedroom so it's very sweet that I brought one or at least one of them to college with me okay and a football I guess I'm still into sports um, very accurate I'm gonna leave it in the middle of the floor here like a trip hazard and let the game judge me for that here's one of my workbooks it can live here my reference book another t-shirt for the shelf and okay the box is done how you doing chats tell me hive mind Callum Dixon says, fun fact, this game has 14,000 Foley files of every item being placed on every surface. That does not surprise me at all. Um, let's Hang on, let's put some things on some surfaces. Okay, everyone get ready to listen. All right, here's a money, money box being put on, on a bedside cabinet. Okay, sounds right. Shelf, slightly different. Bed, yep, yeah, soft, I like it. Windowsill, 
Again, slightly different. Okay, I believe it. 14,000 sounds about right to me. That is a big job for um, the sound person at Witchbeam, sound people at Witchbeam. Um, yep, football on the floor, football on the bed. Lovely. Okay, what else? What else, chat? Uh, Marianne says, on my way to the cinema to see Eternals. Can't wait to watch the rest of the stream in the evening with a cup of hot chocolate. That seems right. I um, hope you enjoy The Eternals. Let us know how it was. Wait, is it Eternals or The Eternals? Marianne's put Eternals, so let's go with Marianne. Um, Eternals. Ryan Lachance says, Hey Jane, I believe I started watching Octobox when I was in uni. Sorry, when I was in ninth or 10th grade. I'm in my third year of university now. Thanks for the years of laughs. Yeah, it's been a, been a long old time here on Outside Xbox. If you're just joining us in the last few years, oh, we've been here a while, um, which means there's a lot of quite old videos if you want to if you want to see back through the mists of time and look at our pre-2019 faces there's there's videos there are videos jimmy snow b says i'm coloring while you're unpacking and it's so chill oh i hope you have one of those one of those um what do they call it like mindful coloring coloring books with all the patterns in those look fun luke t simmons says hey jane you're unpacking so will mike be flipping homes again i moved in march closer to the beach and still have some unpacking to do lo-fi well i am jealous that you're closer to the beach but i'm not jealous that you have so much unpacking still to do uh, fk hamilton says hey this is a neat button i never knew existed always watching you guys always always enjoy watching you guys sorry brightens my day excellent we love we love to hear it okay Okay, Robert Wallace says one day Xbox will return to Australia. You know, Robert, that, I mean, it has sucked not being able to travel in recent years. Um, years, year and change. Um, Australia is one of the places very high on my list that I would love to get back to. I had such a lovely time at PAX Australia, had a great time in Melbourne, had a great time in Sydney. And, um, and yeah, I know we're all aching to get back there. So fingers crossed, it will happen. It will be done. Let's pack, uh, unpack onwards. Okay, I feel like this is one of my own designs. Some kind of proto-furry, possibly. I, I'm going to say it's an original, an original character, perhaps. I have ambitions to be a video game designer, and that is my original character for a video game. Ah, oh, Piggy is here. Now, I hadn't noticed this the first time I played, but um, Piggy, in the, in the previous time period, in 1997, had a little bow on, and I think the bow's gotten lost. Um, since the late 1990s, but you know, the late 1990s were off on everyone, Piggy, so I guess we just gotta deal with that. Oh, wow! Okay, right, of course, we have more than one room. Whoa, this is what growing up is about. Suddenly you've got more than one room to deal with. Here we go. Okay, so there's toothpaste, toothbrush, they all live in there. Here's one of those cool, um, Posing figures, you know, like a reference figure for when you've got to draw people. I'm going to put that. If I put it next to the books, it feels like uh, just asking for trouble because the books are going to fall and knock the figure over. So I'm going to try and squeeze it on my desk here. And can you make it do different poses? Yes, you can. So we're going to make it do like a, a dab there. Oh, in fact, it popped up behind me there. I don't know if you saw it. We've unlocked a dab sticker, I believe. Yeah, there we go. A dab sticker. Um, wait, where did my figurine go? Did I just hide it behind my monitor? Wait, wait, what? Oh, it's because I'm in photo mode, isn't it? And it had kind of not been properly placed. There we go, right. Cool, panic over. Okay, now I have a little portable CD player. I'm moving up in the world. Let's get some music going while we unpack. Okay, but what if I just want to rotate it and I don't want music? Can I make that happen? Uh, maybe I can't. Hang on. Oh, okay, maybe not. Alright, it's just gonna have to sort of point that way. Which is fine. It's fine, honestly. I'm not freaking out about it at all, pointing in the wrong direction. And some purple sneakers. Trainers, if you like. There we go, tuck them in there. Um, and my um, array of CDs. Okay, they're gonna live at the back of the wardrobe, does that make sense? Maybe there'll be room to, maybe there's room to have them up here. Okay, let's, let's see if there's room to leave them up there. Another purple trainer goes down here. Now, I don't think you can tell the difference between right and left hand shoes in this game, can you? Because if you can, oh, you can. Oh, right, well, we're gonna get them all right way around. 
Uh, yeah. It caters exactly to the kind of finicky tidier that I am. I mean, like, sometimes I will go for months without tidying, but when I tidy, it's got to be just right. Let's rotate these fetching Doc Martens. There we go. And that's another box finished. Who packs one box with a shoe and then puts the other shoe in a different box? That's just chaotic packing. All right. There is. It's magnificent. I had, I'm, okay. I'm gonna say it again, but you gotta let me have it. I'm pretty sure I had this exact PC. Like a beige tower. I think it was made by like, AST? Was that a, was that a PC brand? Or did I make that up? Anyway, it has to live, it's so big. It pretty much has to live under the desk because it's just, it's just too much to have on top of the desk, isn't it? Just so much bulk. Let's put it down there for now. Uh, right, time to get involved with the smalls, all the small things, as Blink182 would sing. Um, we're gonna get some, uh, some undies and put them away in the underwear drawer. Um, obviously they have to be sort of tessellated like that. And you can sort of imagine that they're kind of sliding into each other in a kind of interlocking way, which is, of course, the only spatially efficient way to tidy bras. You all know. Um, okay, a cool poster for my cool college dorm sort of persona. You know when you try and kind of acquire a new persona when you go to a kind of university? Um, oh, my university, they had like, they had, um, I guess like market fair type days in the students' union where one of the most popular stalls would just be someone selling hundreds and hundreds of different posters. And it was very much implied that like, you come here and like purchase your personality from the poster seller. Like, what do you want your personality to be? Because your personality at college is like, what is the poster you have on your wall? Is it gonna be a black and white photo of a man holding a baby? Or is it gonna be this thing? Let's get a look at it. Three miles home out here. Maybe a video game, maybe a movie? In the universe of unpacking. Oh, look who came, look who came to college with me. Here we are. Eh, eh. All right, I want you to sit on the bed, but also there's no room on the bed right now. So uh, there you go, you can be right there. All right, let's get to the bottom of this box and then I will promise I will check in with the chat and see what you folks are, are up to. Now, here we go. Who, all right chat, in fact, let's check in with you first. Who can tell me what this DVD is? It is mm, so evocative to me, so perfectly of its time. Let's see who, there you go, Crows immediately in the chat there. Donnie Darko, Donnie Darko. Okay, like a thousand people saying Donnie Darko. Absolutely nailed it. That is mm, so redolent of, what did we say this year was? 2004? Yeah, exactly. So on the money, the 2004. <laughs> Boo must die in the chat says, better plug in that PC and play World of Warcraft until classes start. Yes, Boo must die, absolutely yes. Oh boy. Okay, um, art supplies live on the top shelf. And a hoodie. Now, I don't think we need to help fold a hoodie. I mean, sorry, I don't think we need to hang a hoodie. I think a ho hoodie is foldable. Oh, okay. I'm gonna need some more space next to my bed to put my alarm clock. Another t-shirt for up here. And, oh, it's gone quiet. We're in the quiet bit between loops of, of the ambient music. And here's a fancy top for going out. That gets hanged. Uh, okay, it's um, like a folio folder document thing for all my important documents. You up here? Eh. Okay, right, now. Here is the intricate work of organizing, oh boy. It is a nice touch. It is terrifyingly realistic that you can't open drawers because you dummy, you've left something in the way. So do that. And let's get all up in the sock drawer now. Socks have to be neatly tessellated or I don't want to know about it. And that's some pants. Pants on the left, socks on the right. And pants obviously have to be facing the same direction. Oh, okay, kitchen stuff. Why did I pack my underwear and my toaster in the same box? No one knows. I imagine it was a very chaotic session of packing everything up in my parents' home so that I could get away to university. Great. More socks though. 
obviously the developers of this game, the people at Witchbeam, have carefully ordered the objects that come out of the boxes so that it tells a little story and gradually has you move around your new space. Like, we're in the kitchen now. You've got a mug. Of course you own a mug. Um, oh, and this, although it looks like a mug, is in fact the little beaker that you put your toothbrush in. So let's do that. Eh. 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 Cool. <sighs> you know what? Let's take a drink and look at the chat. Gentle Mandrel says, yay for solo Jane stream, the coziest of streams. And I need the cozy vibes today. Whoa, scrolling chat. Uh, because we had minus one degree centigrade outside today and none of the heaters in the office worked all day. It was so cold. Oh no, gentle mandrel. Oh no. Well, I'm very sorry that they didn't do the right thing and send you home if it was that cold. Um, I hope you are feeling much warmer now and have a blanket on and another blanket on top of that one. Keith Hall says, happy to see Jane Sally stream again. It's been a while since Two Point Hospital and I've missed these vibes. Yeah, you know what? I was, um, I was thinking the other day about how Two Point Campus is surely coming out soon because I cannot wait to stream some Two Point Campus. But if I remember correctly, it's not out until, oh, some way into next year. So look forward to that though. Edward Hulse says, loving the chilled streams, sorry, loving the chilled vibes on this wonderful unpacking stream today, Jane. Been watching Doctor Who Flux the past few days. Also, I love the red plaid shirts. It's the Life is Strange style. I even have one. I mean, are you anybody if you don't have a plaid shirt? I don't know. Inseer says, here's a tip to reflect my first computer. 1997 Packard Bell with a 40 megabyte hard drive, Windows 95 and a 33.6K modem. Sweet. Man, what a sweet rig. What a sweet rig you were rocking. All right. What else you got for me, chat? Ginger Hostly says, hello, Jane. Thank you for the encouragement this weekend. I ran my 5K and only have a shredded Achilles to deal with. But otherwise, it was a success. Oh, Ginger. When you say shredded Achilles, I assume you don't mean it's like really muscular, um, but actually a little bit injured. I hope your injury, um, I hope your injury goes away soon. I hope you're healing even as you type. Okay. Okay. Chat's being funny. I, I hope I'm not missing anything, but um, oh, everyone's sharing their like first computer in the chat. That's lovely. Oh, okay. Um, I'm seeing a Pentium 3, 300 hertz. My first PC, says Ligra, had a Windows 3.1. Wow. Wow. Okay. Um, okay, just checking. Checking I haven't uh, missed anything. Okay, Eric says, please don't stop the I had this is. They help reassure me that I'm not that old since I was about the same age then. Okay, good. Splendid. Oh, I like this in the chat. Nobody knows, says, I can hear the MSN Messenger notifications going on. Uh, from here, yeah, definitely, it's definitely, uh, Emma said Messenger era. Michael Bebo says, hey Jen, I've waited all year to ask this, but it's my birthday, may I please have a shout out, PS, you're the funniest. Aw, Michael Bebo, it's so sweet of you to lie. <laughs> I'm the funniest person on this stream, which is obviously why I demanded a solo stream all for myself. Okay, um, Donnie Darko, Donnie Darko, yes, 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 yes. Okay, cool, let's press on, okay. Oh wait, one more thing, Carl Buse Bing. I hope I've said that right. It says, morning from Washington State, USA. Just had a nasty windstorm that has kept me up all night. Love the D&D. &D. Love you guys. Whoa. Okay. That's aggravating. There's, there's very few things as as rough in a week as um, not getting a good night's sleep. So I hope the wind just, like, chills out. Just relaxes and takes it easy tonight so you can catch up on your Zs. Okay. Where was I? I was unpacking my bathroom stuff. Okay, uh, hand towel goes on the hand towel rail. Everything in its right place. A little bar of soap. Uh, we don't need a soap dish here, we're not fancy. And that's another mug. Now I figure this is like, um, you know, like a gargling mug, like a rinsing mug for when you brush your teeth and you need to rinse out with some water. So that's gonna live there. That's kind of a stick of deodorant, isn't it? A deodorant thingy. That can live. I'm going to say in the front of the cupboard because you need easy access to your deodorant every day. And perfume. Well, you can live on a counter because you're fancy. Hairbrush. Hairbrush on the counter, I'm going to say. Shampoo in the shower, of course. Um, it also appears that whoever owns this or whoever's renting this college room has their own bathroom, which that's living. 
is not sharing a bathroom. Um, good times. Oh, a bra. A surprise bra. I know where you live, and it's here. Ah, there we go. My complete collection of four bras. What next? Okay, some tampons. You live in the back of the cupboard. Whoa. Hang on. If I can fit you in there. Eh, eh. You live in the back of the cupboard, because you're not needed as regularly as deodorant. And the conditioner. You go over here. In the buff. Uh, toilet tissue. You live on there. And another one, a spare. Because we are prepared. You live on top of the toilet. And a big bath towel. Back of the door. Where it's never quite dry, but is always drying. And, okay, some, some towels. Uh, you can live in front of the first aid kit. Really, the first aid kit should be easy access, but, um, you know, I like to live dangerously. Oh, and a pan. The pan goes... Where does the pan go? You know what, I'm not sure yet, so I'm just going to pop it on the hob, figure it out later. Okay, more pants or socks. Is that pants or socks? That's pants. Okay, good. You live on the left. And a Rubik's Cube I brought from home. My favourite toy from the late 90s. Actually, from the 80s, right? But um, that Rubik's Cube was even nostalgic as a childhood toy in the 90s. So this is, um, this is the ironic appreciation of a Rubik's Cube. More socks. And yet more socks. Oh, come on. All right, I'll zoom in if I have to. Okay. Oh, no, not bras. I'm done with you. Okay, okay. This t-shirt I would definitely wear. I would wear to this day. Um, oh, too zoomed. Too zoomed. Okay. I'm saying, actually, I would def I would super definitely wear this t-shirt. Hang on, let me... Oh, I can't unfold it. Can I not unfold it now? Oh, wait, I can if I try and hang out. There you go. I would super wear that Crescent Moon t-shirt. And another piece of my own art, I want to say. It's a monkey. Maybe, like, more character art. And... Oh, I'm sort of in the way of the underwear drawer, aren't I? Here, <laughs> if I zoom in. There we go. There we are. <sighs> Can I just say, I'm really enjoying this stream, everybody. This is um, quite a nice, chill way to spend the latter part of my working Tuesday. So I appreciate you all for letting this be my job. Hooray! Oh boy, I guess I went to the Eiffel... I went to the Eiffel Tower. I went to Paris, baby. I went to Paris at some point. That's cool. That's pretty good going. If I'm like an American university age student and I went to Paris at some point, that's pretty cool. Of course, we haven't... Have we, have we verified whether I'm... Uh, where I'm from? Which country this is? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. There are probably clues. I'll have a think about it. All right, another shirt. And, oh, you know what? That's not a shirt. Ho, ho, that's a pyjama top. You don't need to hang pyjamas. Who do you think you are? All right, all the pyjamas live down there. And yet another pair of socks. Rotated in the correct orientation. And another pair of pants, which are already facing the right way. And more socks. Now... This is one of those times when I realised if I described, if I called my mum after this stream and said this is what I was doing, I was arranging, I was arranging pixel art pants and socks in a drawer while mm, 3.4 thousand people watched me. I don't know what she'd say actually, I'll have to try it. I will, <laughs> oh, you know what, that's, that's plenty of a good reason to call my mother, so Let's, let's find out what she says afterwards and I'll let you know in the next stream. Um, yeah, there you go. There's some life advice. If you're looking for some free life advice, call your mum. Call your mum if you can and if you'd like to and if you have a good relationship with your mum. This is your internet mum saying, call your mum if, if it is a good time. Um, jeans. Jeans live up there. And the boxes, they are done. We've done all our bedroom boxes. And we're still missing a red boot, somehow. I sure hope I didn't forget to pack my other red boot. Okay. Oh, look! I tell you what, look at that. That is not... That is not an English 
the British, sorry. That's not a UK power outlet, is it? That is possibly, possibly an American power outlet. Wait, is Witch Beam Australian? Let me check. Witch Beam, I should know this. Witch Beam Games. Where are they based? They're in, yeah, they're in Brisbane, Australia. So perhaps, perhaps this is Australia, actually. Maybe that is an Australian power outlet. Uh, George McKay says US outlet. And what about the bed box? What about the bed box? Does that, does that give you some sort of clue as to where we are? Oh, the bed box. Sorry. Okay, uh, there's every chance that I'm a little too chilled out and my brain has turned too much because I didn't even see. I didn't even see that there was a whole other box on the bed. What am I like? Um, more art supplies. What about the bed box? Thank you. Thanks, chat. For hauling me up on my foolishness. There we go. Pencils are there. Uh, pens, I want to say. Sort of marker pens. I think they're there. And another reference book, I want to say. Another artist reference book. And that is another book. Possibly another like anatomical figure drawing, life drawing kind of reference book. There we go. Bedbox done. Bedbox done. Okay. And now the Game Boy. I think my precious electronics should live in my bedside drawer. So the Game Boy goes there. The early model iPod goes... Oh no, there's no room for the early model iPod as well. Oh no. There's not much space in there. Okay, fine. The iPod can live down here. That's fine. Uh, is there room for the piggy bank to be down there as well? Yes, there is. And... Is there room for the alarm clock? Yes. Good. Good. Can I set the time? Yes. Yes! <laughs> that is so satisfying. I didn't realise you could do that. You can totally... I mean... Do you know what? Here's how we're going to set the time. Because I noticed in the kitchen... Yeah, there you go. It's 11.12. Oh, I think it actually said it's at the right time for me. There we go. 11.12. We've set the time. And... Alright, I'm going to pair up these two. Because they belong together. And these two. Because they belong together. And I think everything's looking sort of good in here. I could maybe maybe refine the arrangement of the art supplies and books and, and whatnot. But you know what? Let's do some more unboxing because there might be more books to come. Oh, hey, we were at the bottom of that as well. Celebrate. All right, chat, we're on the last room of 2004. How are you? How are you, chat? Frank Rodriguez says my first PC was a 2004 HP laptop Ooh. with the works one full gig of RAM, 80 gigs, HDD, Pentium 4 and even a video card to play Final Fantasy 11. The Beast couldn't last for 1.5 hours without a plug. By the way, awesome chill stream. You're very welcome, Frank. 1.5 hours without a plug. Yeah, that sounds about right for the early 2000s. Amelia Scott says, hey Jane, I quoted you in my senior yearbook in high school and now I'm a senior in college. Time flies. Thank you for all the laughs over the years. Um, Amelia, I remember you. I remember you quoting me in your senior yearbook in high school. And wow, congratulations on making it through college. See, you're checking off the life goals, the milestones, and I'm still here on YouTube and I'm not going anywhere. So you're, you're welcome. I'm, I'm your internet rock who will just be here making the content as you pass through those phases, those seasons of your life. Matthew Mask says, the biggest hint I've seen is the bathroom sink having only one tap. As I understand, that's mostly an American thing, plus London bus toy. That's a good point. If you were from London, or possibly even from the UK, you probably wouldn't have a double-decker bus toy, unless you were really into buses. So um, I'm gonna say, yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it's an Australian game studio. So, chances are good Australia, but also I think the um, I think US and Australian power outlets are similar, the same, similar. Samantha Wilson says thank you for the super chill stream that's motivating me to organise and clean my room. Yeah, do it. It could look as beautiful as this, as this pixel art gloriousness. Yes. Okay, Eleanor Smith says, ah, the era of trying to persuade my mum to buy a DVD player. Also, is it okay to play this game if my real room's a mess? Yeah, I think I think that's the best way to play this game, is when your real room is a mess, because maybe it'll give you a taste for tidying. Or at least you'll feel like you've done some tidying, you know? You can kind of trick your brain into feeling like you've done something constructive. 
Okay, non-binary boy the gamer girl says hello there. Hello there to you. Welcome to the party. And anything else? Lexicon of Word says you being our internet rock is one of the most comforting things I've ever heard, Jane. Um, you're the best. Well, I don't know if I'm the best. I'm like top ten. Maybe top five on a good day. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Um, just scrolling through the chat. Just having a little scroll. Scrolling away. Doing my best to keep up. Um, oh, TBA113 says, not to be a downer, but a friend of mine just lost his dad. Sorry, TBA. Sorry to your friend, that is. It is always a good time to call your folks. I mean, you're not wrong. If you've got a good relationship with your folks, why not send them a text message? They're probably on WhatsApp. You got a family WhatsApp? Send them a WhatsApp. Gwerty Presta says, be honest. Were you this organized in your college dorm? I was quite organized in my college dorm. I tell you what, it would, would make it very much like mine is if there was like a cork board absolutely covered in printed out photographs because this was back when we still had printed out photographs and I remember spending hours maybe organising those photographs into a montage. Do you know what, I didn't notice there's a little dent in the wall there so I'm going to cover that dent up with a little, little monkey picture there. Good, good. Right, back to the kitchen. Okay, a little espresso cup. Fancy. Or possibly a teacup. Not sure. Not sure of the scale there. Yeah, it's a small teacup. And the uh, sugar. Sugar lives up here. And a cookie jar. Yes, please. That lives, let's say, up there for now, temporarily. Plates. I'm going to put... Oh, no, that's too high. That is way too high. Plates can go there. That's not too high. And a bowl. Cereal bowl. Lives next to the plates. Another cereal bowl. Um, and a mismatched plate. There we go. Okay. Tea towel. Tea towel. Oh, where does tea towel live? Where does tea towel live? Oh, there's a hook. Tea towel lives on the hook. Always drying, but never dry. And... Oh, wait. There's the cutting drawer right there. Hang on. Uh, forks on the left, let's say. And knives on the right, let's say. Whoa, you're not facing the right way. Spoons. Now, are you teaspoons or spoon spoons? I think you're teaspoons. Teaspoons, you live there. Uh, spare tea towel, um, under the sink, I would say. Under the sink. Uh, hand soap. Now, we definitely need some hand soap in the bathroom. But if it were me, I would have hand soap in the kitchen as well. Let's see if there's another one. Okay, that's, that's gotta be like washing up liquid or something, right? So washing up liquid on the sink, bug spray under the sink, away from the food, because is poison. And some kind of toasty maker. Some kind of... Yeah, that's got to be like a panini press or something. Chopping board. Stick you above the microwave. A uh, little pot here. Little... Mm. Maybe up here. Takes up a lot of space, doesn't it? Maybe there. We'll think about it. We'll think about that one, you know? Oh, a big pot. Okay. Not a lot of space for pots. And it doesn't seem right to put cooking utensils under the sink with all the bug sprays and cleaning implements so let's just put it up there and assume we're not going to use it very much okay that looks to me like oil that's got to be cooking oil right um let's see if we can get it in the corner here mm, okay here's the thing i think i'm going to want sugar more than i want oil so let's put the sugar in the front and get the oil in the back Bin liners. Bin liners live under the sink, we all know that. That's the law. And it's also the law that sponges live under the sink. Okay, so spatch. Spatch. Oh, can I just... Wait, no, I can't. I can't show you right now. I'll show you later. I'll show you later. Don't worry. Don't worry about it. I'll show you later. Okay, this goes here. And that's that box boxed. And... Oh, my keyboard! My precious beige keyboard. You live here. You go here. And let's centre the PC behind the keyboard. Lovely. Uh, zoom out. Looking good. And plates. Another plate. And another bowl. And a uh, glass. Like a big Coca Cola glass. Um, not a lot of kitchen space. Let's see if we can live. See if it can live there. Big knife. Just the one big knife. You only need one big knife at this age. Just one big knife. 
for everything. One, one big spoon, uh, one medium sized can opener, one working sponge, the sponge in active rotation, you live on the sink, and a, a lovely beige kettle. Um, let's get the beige kettle, hang on, over by the power outlet over here. Oop. And it's getting quite cluttered here, isn't it? On the side. Now I think we're going to need a toaster more often than we need a panini press. So I'm going to put the panini press, the toasty maker, out of the way. Ah, my boot! My missing boot! There you go. The pear is complete. And there's a, some sort of vegetable peeler and uh, another mismatched mug. There we go. And another glass, also mismatched. It's quite charming how like, it's all a mismatched set. It's not like a matching set of crockery and cutlery and, and whatnot. Okay. Hmm. Now this is a quandary because I don't want to put it up out of reach. Maybe the chopping board can just live here for chopping. And I can put my sources up here where they're not completely out of arms, arms reach. Makes sense to me. We'll see whether the game judges for me. Judges me for it after. Salt. All the salt. Salt just about squeezes up there. And coffee. Coffee can live, like, by the kettle. Because, you know, that's... They go together, don't they? And... Now, I can't put the kitchen roll on the sink because it's going to get all soggy. Um, but I don't want to put it up there out of arm's reach, so... I can't put it in the sink. Alright, there's got to be another place for the chopping board. You know what? Stuff it. Chopping board lives up there. I'm not going to be cooking anything. I'm going to be having, like, microwave hamburgers. I don't need to be chopping things or cooking things. I only ate a microwave hamburger once, don't judge me. But it was definitely while I was a student. So. That was a specific pull from memory. Okay! All the boxes are unboxed, and now the game is judging me for having put a chopping board on top of this unit, for having put the kitchen roll on the sink, which is fair because it would be all soggy. And what else is it judging me for? Oh, you know what? It doesn't even want me to have my my big girl diary under the pillow. I guess it's a bit chunky to live under a pillow. So we'll have to put it on the shelf, won't we? Uh, there you go. You can live in between those two books where you're sort of hidden. And in the bathroom. Bathroom's all good. Just need to close these covered doors. There we go. Lovely. All fine and good. Okay, before I fix the last of the kitchen, how you doing, chat? Stimson Sneed says, sick as a dog, sneezing in a motel in the middle of nowhere on the USA West Coast. And this stream is getting me through my mucusy morning. Wow. There's definitely a story there, Stimson. How did you come to be in the middle of nowhere in a motel with a cold? I assume a cold. On your morning. Um, well, I hope you feel better soon. If this were Animal Crossing, I would bring you that medicine that's made out of like a wasp nest and some weeds and cures absolutely everything. Um, the panacea. And then you'd feel better immediately. Andrew Halliday says Oxboxtra was there for me when my baby girl had a success had successful open heart surgery. Thank you for all the positive energy. Wow, Andrew, I'm so glad to hear your baby girl had successful open heart surgery. I can imagine that was quite a stressful season in your life. So, um, yeah, enjoy it. Let's tr let's try and shed some stress, everybody. Not to sound all touchy feely, but let's try and leave it leave it behind. Just for this stream, I understand you've all got real lives to be getting back to. Okay. Okay. Okay, chat. Do you know what? Chat, if any of you out there have fallen asleep and are having a nice nap to the sounds of unpacking, I couldn't blame you and I wouldn't blame you. And also, if you've left it streaming, we still get the views, so um, everyone's a winner. Please do feel... If you want to take a nap, please do feel free. This is my permission. I'm your internet mother and I, I'm giving you permission to take a nap. I won't be insulted. Um, all right, well, I'm gonna put the chopping board back down here and the kitchen roll. I feel like I need kitchen roll way more often than, than putting it up there. But the game seems to love it. The game loves it. So if the game loves it, I love it. And the other thing I'm not happy with is, is having a pan on the hob when the hob's not on. That seems wrong to me. So I'm gonna pop that up there. The game loves it also. And who am I to say the game is wrong? Okay. Can I... I don't suppose I can put the blind down. No, I can't. Okay. But I can close this wardrobe. Such as it is. 
And we're done. Let's take a photo. Um, let's get a memento for the album. Uh, sticker is going to be like so. The frame is going to be... What are we going to do for a frame? Mm, yeah, like a kind of pseudo photo album with little sticky on corners. And a filter. Let's go... Oh, no. Uh, sepia, black and white. Uh, how about... Oh, no. Scan lines. Sparkles. Yeah, let's go for sparkles. There we go. Mwah! Perfect. Done. Um, let's leave photo mode. Let's have a drink, everyone. Because... I've got to stay hydrated, I don't know about you. Okay. Mm. Okay. Lucy Mama says, I wish I could take a nap. Sadly, I have a doctor's appointment at one. Sorry to hear that, Lucy. Um, not about the doctor's appointment. Well done on taking care of your health. Um, but, you know, there'll be naps waiting on the far side. When you can next take a nap, consider that your belated nap. <sighs> okay. Who's ready for the next season in this life story? Which is... Which is... Oh, I don't know if you can see that. We just unlocked a sticker that's like someone in a graduation cap. Like a water. Um, okay, 2007. So we rejoin our protagonist three years later. Oh. Thanks, Game Pass. Um, but not now. Right. So at this phase in the game, I've moved in with someone else. Possibly... I'm going to say I've graduated because we did just, of course, unlock the graduate sticker. So maybe this is like my first apartment after graduating from university. I'm moving into a space that already has someone living in it, as you can tell um, from all the stuff that's already here. Maybe someone with similar interests to me. Look, they're into roller derby. Um, they're probably some sort of costume designer, seamstress. Because they've got a mannequin in there and a sewing machine and whatnot. And there's more board games, so I know that we have board games in common. Also, they like um, lizards, stick insects, whatever that might be. And plants and butterflies. So I think we're going to get on just fine. More than fine. We're gonna get on great. Let's start in the bedroom because the bedroom is just like my space. Um. Right. We begin with a spiral bound notebook. And then. What is that? Oh, cute. It's like a little sketch. Okay, there's the court board I've been dreaming on, of. And another spiral bound notebook that can live above my desk where I do my art, my artwork. Now that's a moleskin notebook. Could be a diary or could just be more art. So let's put it there. Art supplies. I can live up there, why not? And why not you there? Why not my marker pens up there above above my desk? And another one, and these stack. So that's that's space saving and efficient. My trusty eraser, I've been using the same brand ever since I was 1997 and a pen pot with some pens and paintbrushes and such. That is, that's like a page a day desk calendar or something. And we're done with the bed box. And we're moving on to some more spiral bound notebooks. And oh boy. Now where do you put your, where do you put your alarm clock when you don't have a bedside table? Put it under your pillow. Will it let me do that? Yeah, there we go. Let's see, let's see how we get on with having an alarm clock under our pillow. And okay, more postcards or photos, possibly from my world travels. And another postcard from my world travels. Oh, that looks like maybe Venice. Is that the canal? The Grand Canal, maybe? And I'm gonna say that's the Colosseum in Rome or a Colosseum in Rome. And I've kept my iPod, haven't upgraded yet. And, oh yeah. Mismatched hangers. Nothing says your early 20s like mismatched coat hangers. Okay. A D 
D20. All right, I've gotten into Dungeons and Dragons. That tracks. I have since leaving college played my first round of Dungeons and Dragons. Or maybe at college I discovered Dungeons and Dragons. Here is my stylus and tablet. That probably has to live on my desk somewhere. And my mouse pad. Uh, you're going to be somewhere around there. With my mouse. You live with the mouse pad. And my beige keyboard. Also there. Okay, here's my journal. Now we know journals have to be on bookshelves, so let's try putting you there. There's the box done. Let's do this other little box. I really appreciate. Oh, I was gonna say I really appreciate the way the books rearrange themselves for you, but right now, oh no, it's working. I just don't think I have any more space left on this shelf. So uh, maybe you can go there. Okay, there's that same reference book. Um, my art reference book. I think I'm gonna run out of bookshelf space. Oh yep, yeah. running out of bookshelf space. There we go. And oh yeah, what's that? A little game gear or something? Um, put you in the drawer. Other precious electronics eventually. Oh, I bet. I don't suppose you fit in there, do you? Oh, you do. Oh, brilliant. Okay, cool. That's tidied away. And these are oh my little game cartridges. My little game cartridges. Cool. Now. I can't possibly squeeze that into here, can I? <gasps> I can! Ah, oh, that's satisfying. That's so space-saving and satisfying. Okay, now I've run out of bookshelf space. So what I think I'm going to do is put these up here. Maybe I don't use them as often as some of my other art supplies and turn that into a proper bookshelf. Okay, there we go. Books go up there. This book is, I reckon, it's like a typography book, isn't it? It's um, maybe for a graphic designer. Someone who's doing typography work. And okay, right. This baseball cap with a pumpkin on it is part of my work uniform, I believe. So I've, I've clearly taken a job in a cafe or maybe a grocery store or something. And here are my socks. Uh, okay, we're back to arranging the sock drawer. Oh, and I brought my poster with me from college. And it's a little bit ratty now. That I've got a little bit missing from the corners. But I kept it because it means a lot to me. Uh, coat hangers. Oh, this is what I wanted to show you earlier. And I'm like, it's annoying, but in such a realistic, relatable way that you can't hate it. Look at it. When you're like, oh, I want to open my sliding wardrobe, but of course I forgot to close my sliding drawers. There we go. Done. All right. Jay needs a drink. Cara Dennison says, cosplay on a dress from messy bathroom, anime figures. Sorry, cosplay on a dress form, says Cara Dennison. Messy bathroom, anime figures. I'm so sorry, Jane, but it looks like you've moved in with 2007 me. Ah, Cara, what a dream. We've moved in together and you've... Can, I, I would say, though, that's a lot of space in the living room for your cosplay. I mean, we, I'm sure we're going to get on famously, but also... You know what? No, you were here first. You found this apartment. I'm moving in with you. It's your space first. You put your cosplay wherever you want it to be. Okay. Alex Wright says, This is the perfect stream for my week off before I kick off my new consultant job. Thanks for all the hijinks and entertainment all these years, Jane. Alex, you're very welcome. I hope you're enjoying that little lull between jobs where you get to chill out and you haven't got any, um, haven't got any, like, emails yet, even. I imagine you don't have any work emails from your new job. What a treat. All right, Marissa J says, sorry I'm late. How's the unpacking going? What is the plan for the leftover bubble wrap? You know what? I don't think there is bubble wrap. It's all like sort of scrunched up brown paper. So no bubble wrap to speak of. Okay. What's the flashing icon at the top left do? Looks like a floor plan, says Christoph She, uh, sorry, Schleehalf. Uh, yes, you're right. It is a floor plan. Here you go. So you can see the rooms we've got to work with. There's a living room, kitchen, bathroom, my bedroom, that's Kara's bedroom there. Uh, that's someone else's bedroom. Oh, I guess we're living with two housemates and the dining room down there. Okay. Uh, where was I? Right, unpacking things. No, wait, I was drinking. I was going to have a drink, wasn't I? Mm. Here's your reminder to stay hydrated. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Richard Spear says, betting a hundred bucks they move out after a bad game of capital. Okay. 
Uh, where's capital? Oh yeah, there. There we go. Monopoly. A like down in the corner. And someone in the chat, oh, uh, yeah, Renegade Pervert says, that's a fat PS2, right? Yeah, look at it. Look at that boxy, majestic boxy beast. And those original PS2 controllers, I want to say, obviously they would be. Right, I brought my copy of The Matrix with me, so all my housemates will be glad that we can continue watching um, The Matrix. There you go, The Matrix. See ever? Uh, sort of like Sailor Moon like anime figure there. And. Now, what is this? What is this now? Who can tell me what this is meant to be? I don't, think it's, I don't think it helps to like zoom in on it in pixel art. I think it helps to zoom out and get sort of more impressionistic. If anyone recognises what that DVD box is meant to be, I would love to hear in the chat. Brokeback Mountain, suggests John Fricker. Body cup, buddy cop movie says Marissa, Marissa J. Oh, and I'm seeing some more Brokeback Mountains. You know, that's a good shout because actually that does look a lot like the composition of the front of Brokeback Mountain and it works out time-wise. That is exactly the right era to have purchased a DVD, not even a Blu-ray, but a DVD of Brokeback Mountain. Okay. Oh, okay. You definitely live in my bedroom. This is my most cherished figurine. Oh, boy. Wrong button. My most cherished figurine who lives on top of... Whoa. Something creepy about making a figurine face the wall. Okay. Back to the boxes. Donnie Darko, everybody. Still got my favourite movie, Donnie Darko, with me. And that looks like a coffee table book. So that lives under the coffee table. And there is a top that... What do we think? Does it need hanging? Or could it stand to be folded? Let's try hanging. Okay, now that is my bathroom mug. So that lives in the bathroom. Not a lot to unpack here in the bathroom. Let's do some of that. Toothbrush. Toothpaste. Uh, razor. Uh, razor. Let's see, have they left a drawer for me? Not that drawer. Yeah, that drawer. And nail clippers, also in the drawer. And hairbrush. Hairbrush can be on the side, right? They won't mind if I put my hairbrush on the side. This is how we start to get on each other's nerves. They're like, have you noticed Jane leaves her hairbrush full of hair out by the sink? And it's driving me, driving me mad. Right, um, okay, this is like sort of toiletries bag, I guess. Oh wait, hang on, there's a, there's a whole blimmin' medicine cabinet I can put stuff in. Maybe I can put my brush in there and avoid housemate arguments. There we go. Okay. I'm going to say maybe some painkillers, some sort of tablets, there we go, and deodorant, deodorant in the drawer, perfume, perfume, maybe out here, it looks nice doesn't it, okay, and this is my, um, uh, what do you call it, brush, body brush, yeah, there we go, body brush lives there, shampoo lives on the shower caddy, everything in the right place, Everything, everything that's right place and a right place for everything, or whatever they say. And shampoo, conditioner, and I don't know, shower gel. Uh, okay, menstrual products appear to already be living down here, under the under the sink. And I guess you can live down there as well, unless there's space in here. Oh, there's space in here. Cool. Oh, the Febreze can, of course, the Febreze can. Listen to this. Listen to this foley, everyone. Okay. The sound of Febreze on a bathroom tile. The sound of Febreze on a toilet. Yep, toilet seat. Slightly different. That's artistry. On a sink. Yep, on a washing machine. Perfect. Just the attention to detail. I think the Febreze probably... <sighs> By the toilet? I mean, Febreze can live in so many places. Air fr it's not Febreze, is it? It's like air freshener or something. I guess air freshener could live by the toilet. Maybe. Maybe. Alright, jeans. Jeans do not need to be folded. Jeans can live on the shelf. More jeans. Oh wait, hang on. Let's stack the jeans. There we go. Frisbee? I don't know. Where do you keep a frisbee? Oh, climbing shoes! That's a climb- I, I think 
That's a climbing shoe, isn't it? It's a climbing shoe or a very odd kind of trainer. I think I've taken up rock climbing. Um, which is a very astute observation. Unpacking. I did take up rock climbing. And I did have those terrible shoes because they were really tight and uncomfortable. And they're meant to be tight and uncomfortable. And they tell you that they're meant to be uncomfortable. And you're like, I don't care, my feet hurt. That's a chalk bag. So that's a little bag you attach around your waist and it's full of dusty chalk so you can um, get better grip when you chalk up your hands. I'm gonna leave that down there. And that, my friends, is a bra. And bras live. Let's give them their own drawer, why not? Uh, like so. Okay, good, we've, we've reached the bra box. The underwear box. Whoa, 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 whoa. We've already got a sock drawer. Oh no, sorry. Wrong drawer. Fiddly. There we go. There we go. Matching socks. Okay, okay, okay. My work bag. I, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe here? Maybe here under the desk? We'll see what the game says later. Okay. A shirt. Or a jacket. Or a shacket, maybe. Try putting it up there. Okay, this is part of my work uniform. You can see there's like a little pumpkin thing on it. So I've clearly taken a kind of service industry job. Maybe a clerk in a grocery store. Maybe a barista at a coffee shop. This is my good old plaid shirt. There's my work apron. And a yoga mat. Man! Look at all the exercise I'm getting. I'm doing yoga, I'm doing rock climbing. Now that's a pyjama top if I ever saw one. Pyjamas can go up here. And those are pyjama pants. And those are more pyjama pants. And that is pyjama top. Yep. And that's my fancy going out top for going out in. Oh no, there's no hangers left. Alright, um... Plaid shirt. I don't think you need to be hanged up. You can just be here next to the jeans. That seems about the right place for you. And then the fancy top can live up here. Good. Very good. Now that is a little little uh, waste bin for the bathroom. And this... <gasps> Man, I turns out I got really into exercise after graduating because I've got those... I've got those itty bitty little weights. Is that like a one kilogram weight? Okay, they're not very weighty, but you know, every every little helps. Done. Done, 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 done. And some checkered socks, I want to say. I've got plenty of room for socks. And here's my little photo album. Which I am filling with photographs even as we play. More socks, more pants. I don't think we've started a pants drawer yet, have we? So eh. there you go, with a little bow at the top. And oh no, 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 hang on. There we go. Let's tessellate those bras. Uh, okay, some sort of Oh no. Some sort of slip-on shoe. Do I have space for shoes here? Yes, I do. There we go. Kind of loafer. A loafer dealy. And my favourite boots. No! Oh, there we go. And uh, like a Converse kind of sneaker. Oh, that's not the right way around, is it? There we go. That's the right way around. Make space for the loafers. And the second loafer. Here we go. And the second boot. Like so. Okay. Some kind of... I don't know, jeans, pants, trousers, whatever you call them. Mm. There we go. Oh, there you are! Woo! Thought I'd left you behind. I'd lost you. Man, I'm parched. Okay. Mm. Andrew Price asks, why is this a game? Well, Andrew, it's because it's extremely serene and relaxing and there's a low skill level, which is exactly what I need on a sleepy Tuesday afternoon. Okay. Brandon Michael Heimbach says, hello, checking in and watching on catch up later on. Hope everyone has a lovely day. Brandon, hope you're having a lovely day at whatever time you come back to catch up on this VOD. That's a video on demand, don't you know? Okay, we can hang this skirt. My first skirt, my first ever skirt. Right, Um, the shirt, work shirt. And oh yeah, why don't we put this monitor away since it's sitting right there. Might have to move things around a little bit. There we go. You go there. You go there. And you go there. The other thing about the game is that it is 
slightly, or not so slightly, um, a really wonderful like narrative experience. And it has made me think about how you can tell a life story in the absence of the actual protagonist. It's like experiencing the protagonist solely through their belongings. And I know Tyler Durden says, you're not your belongings or whatever Tyler Durden bloody said, but in a way you kind of are your belongings because they say everything, don't they? I feel like we know this person just because we've spent all this time arranging their sock drawer. Okay, oh, this is my, um, I think this is my like graduation certificate. So let's put that above my desk. Yeah, it must be what I got for graduating with flying co colors, stars from wherever I graduated from. <sighs> okay. All right. We've got about half an hour left, so I'm interested to see where we get to. It's not a very long game, of course. There are more rooms, uh, more places to live after this. But I reckon we can, we can definitely finish this era, this 2007 apartment, can't we? Okay. Pants and t-shirts and... Oh yeah, my, my folio, my folder. I can kind of... Oh, I don't want to cover up my achievement. Uh, maybe you can live up here. There we go. Okay. Just a few more bits of underwear and a skirt hanging from a hanger. And oh, okay, now this must be my beige computer. There you are, friend. I wouldn't leave you behind. Oh, okay. I guess this um, cubby is actually for the computer. Hang on. There we go. In there. Not great for like circulation. It's gonna get a little hot and dusty back in there, but you know, whatever, whatever, however you want it. Um, I guess my bag could sort of be there temporarily on my desk chair. And oh right, I better put my work clothes away. Hey, work clothes. Where am I gonna put you? All right. Oh, hang on. Let's get the whole stack. Stack of work clothes up here. Baseball cap on top of the work clothes and close the wardrobe, close that and okay bedroom is sort of done but I suspect the game will have its own opinion about that. Here's the dining room everyone welcome to the dining room where we dine and where we shelve our books. Get a couple of chonky reference books up there and oh it's you my catto friend. Oh, okay, I've got a chicken. You're new. You're new around here. Okay, chicken can live there. Oh, baby chicken. Wait, there's a word for that. A chick. Right, good. Well done, Jane. Words. I'm, uh, you can be up there. In fact, let's put the chickens up here. I feel like I can't possibly separate them. They have to be together. Okay, good. Back to the dining room where we find yet more books. And... Okay, I think this is meant to be like a D&D &D miniature. Maybe it represents my character. Oh, that's interesting. I don't think I spotted that before. You... I think it's the same character that I had a drawing of above my bed in college. So it's like that original character that I had, I had drawn and framed. Like a sort of, I wanna say cat person, maybe? Like a bard, cat person bard, tabaxi maybe? Okay, that's my um, reference figure. That needs to be on my desk. Like so. <laughs> oh, uh, let's make it... Yeah, finger pose there. I just realised that I've upgraded my monitor. Not my PC, but I have upgraded my monitor to a nice flat screen. So that's progress, baby. Okay. Um, mm -mm -mm. Back over here. Now. Spiral bound notebooks sort of live up here, but they sort of don't have much space left. Uh, come on. You, there. You, there. You, there. Perfect. Perfection. And moving on. Oh, what are you? Okay, it's another one of my, uh, another one of my original characters, maybe? Or is it a, just a character I'm a fan of? Sort of a red panda. A red panda guy, maybe. 
doing a dynamic pose of some sort. Okay, well, maybe up here next to my graduation uh, certificate. Next to my diploma, that's what that's called. A diploma. Okay, my Eiffel Tower can go here next to my bard. Figure oh no, it doesn't fit. It does not fit. Okay, maybe it can be... Oh look, cosplay wigs. All right. Um, hmm. Maybe, maybe up here, maybe on the top shelf where I can enjoy it with my eyes, even if I can't reach it physically. Oh, mm, mm, mm. like so. And oh, I guess I've been to Pisa, everybody. I am pre pretty well traveled, pretty well traveled. Okay, there's a little, little plant, which I think would look really good next to the plant here. And a little book, a small book. You can go there. A uh, fat book, you can go there. And a tall book. Where do tall books go? Uh, I don't like that. I don't love that. Uh, oh, I can squeeze it in there. There we go. Boxes done! Hooray! Okay, where, where have we still got boxes? Here we are, in the kitchen. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Harrison Parker says... Sitting here at work and thought, wait, is this live? What a Tuesday. And our belongings do create narrative. Also, this is like very chill Tetris. Is it? Yes, exactly, Harrison. It's like chill Tetris with all of your worldly possessions instead of like L shapes and T shapes and long skinny shapes. Okay. Okay, double tea towels. Uh, second tea towel lives, I'm gonna say next to the baking trays under the sink. And a potato peeler. Uh, let's see what drawers I have available to me. Or are we just kind of going to pool all of our utensils together? I think, I think the latter. In fact, if there's already a stack of tea towels, I'll put my tea towel there. Cookie jar. Now, is this a communal cookie jar? Or is this Jane's cookie jar that only Jane can eat cookies out of? Because if it's communal, it can live there. I guess, I guess you can all have some cookies. Okay, we've got a sugar jar and a sugar bag there. Oil? Some sort of cooking oil? Let's put you here with like the condiments and other oils. Big knife goes... Oh, oh definitely not pointing outwards. You can go there. Mm. Is there a safer place to put this knife? Ah, hang on. Like a knife block? Oh, the knife block's already full. All right, fine, you live there. You know that thing when you're unpacking and you get really tired because you have so many possessions and you start out meaning well and putting everything in the right place and then by the end of it, you're just kind of throwing everything everywhere? Um, I'm not saying that's what I'm doing. I'm still being quite careful, but it's definitely a phenomenon to watch out for. All right, one more box left. Mm. Drink full box. Okay, Ishan Dionysian says, fun fact, I'm 90% sure some books you've unpacked on D&D manuals match the spine of the book on the table. Also note the dice tower. I did notice the dice tower. I didn't have a good look at the book. Is that like a D&D &D player's manual? Look at the spine. I mean, I, yes, I fully believe you. I think that's probably what they're going for. They, these are D&D these are &D reference books, and that is definitely a character sheet, D&D &D character sheet, some more dice, and a dice tower. In fact, you know what? I think this D20, this lucky D20, is probably meant to be here, near the dice tower. Where was I? I was in the kitchen, wasn't I? Uh, plates. Let's just put all our plates together. Let's mix it all up. We're all friends here. Your crockery is my crockery. Is your crockery. And now we have four cereal bowls. Eh. Sauces. Uh, water bottle. Put it by the sink, like I'm about to fill it up. And pans, 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 pans. You're so bulky. Where do you live? Probably in this cupboard, right? Hang on. Pans. Pans go. Pans go here. 
And go here. That's that's not a kitchen towel. You can't fool me unpacking. That's a bathroom towel. My bathroom towels go in the bathroom. But where? Oh wait, hang on. I've hidden the towel rail. Okay, I brought my my trusty panini press. Which can go up there. And bug spray. Bug spray! Wait, hang on. I've had a better idea. Not right now, first aid kit. Bug spray should go in this kind of Oh, I guess it doesn't fit in there. I'm just a little bit uneasy about my bug spray living next to my baking uh, trays. You know, food and poison living so close together, cheek by jowl. But you know, you're gonna cook it, right? You're gonna cook all the poison out of it when you put those baking trays in the oven. So the contamination is basically fine. Spoon in the spoon drawer. Chopping board on the side. And box done. Um, now. I think I would put a first aid kit in the bathroom. Oh, hang on. Locked. Let's try putting the first aid kit in the bathroom. I think that's a good place for a first aid kit. Eh. Yeah, there you go. You can live under the sink. And I feel like the only boxes we have left to unpack are in the living room, in the lounge area. Oh. Chat, how you doing? Suffolk Socialist Space Gamer says, My second year at university, my roommate and I had only one spoon. Had to constantly wash it and hand it back and forth for the other to use. Oh no. Oh no. I, you must have been really close friends. Or really loathed enemies by the end of it. Sharing a single spoon. LED Townsend says, I'm for sure supposed to be working right now, but this is way more important and definitely more relaxing. Well, good. That's our intention, LED. Um, work will wait. Work will wait till after the stream. We've only got like 25 minutes left. So, you know, give yourself a break. Take a little break, make yourself a cup of tea and then get back to it later. Uh, Solo says, hey Jane, thanks for the chill vibes. Would you ever consider playing Evil Genius 2? It's like Two Point Hospital, except you build an evil science lair. Solo, great news for you. Um, evil Genius 2 is actually coming to console this month, I believe. So yes, I would very much like to play it. Um, I, I did kind of miss it when it came out on PC earlier in the year I think um, but it's definitely exactly my jam and I really do want to play it um, and uh, we should be getting hold of, of console code for it fairly soon so watch the space yes yes definitely to Evil Genius 2 Taylor Isley says if I'm ever suspect of the cleanliness of some crockery i.e. poisons and whatnot I either clean it first or have my roommate try the food before me yeah or, or both or both both is good cool right Right, 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 right. Two more boxes. Okay. That's that's more of my artwork, but it's so good that it can live above the television. There's my portable CD player, which... Do I want to enjoy it in my bedroom? Or do I want to share it with the living room and everyone else in it? a lot of space in here maybe maybe it can live there but my cd play my cds not a lot of space for my cds maybe my cds go there oh pot oh man i thought i'd done with you kitchen oh no all right where is there still space maybe here yes perfect okay done with the kitchen and all right there's my copy of ghost world well watched and well worn. That is a copy of. Hang on. What is that? Okay, chat. Okay, hive mind. Do your do your thing. What is that? A pixel art approximation of what movie is that meant to be? Pan's Labyrinth says Monkey Z forever. You know what? That's a good shout. Okay. Pater Draconis also says Pan's Labyrinth. Okay, okay, I'm seeing lots of Pan's Labyrinth. Tino says Pan's Labyrinth. Um, Thomas Angel says Pan's Labyrinth. Wow, Hive Mind, you are so powerful. I'm almost frightened of how powerful you are, Hive Mind. It's like, wow. You, um, just all the answers right there at the, at the tips of your fingers. Your fingers, um, or brains, or what have you. Okay, there's a copy of um, The Board Game Rascal. I'm deeply impressed by how you can recognise 
an approximation of a DVD cover from just a few pixels. Ah, oh, now this um, looks like a piece of artwork I've done of my D&D &D crew. So let's put it in the game room. Look, here are their miniatures, or models, figurines. And here's the, ge here's the game room and the game table where we all play D&D. &D, and where someone hasn't cleaned up their disgusting bowl of... I don't know what... I, it's not cereal because there's a fork. I want to say a bowl of pasta or something. Anyway, we'll talk about it later in the housemate meeting. <laughs> it's already getting a bit passe. Okay, game controllers. Oh, a little GameCube. Uh, that can fit in that little cubby. And another controller. Uh, uh, hang on. Rotate, rotate, rotate. Perfect. Uh, now we've got the games to put away. Games can maybe go on the bottom shelf here. And here. And... Tell you what, maybe we can recognise some of these games. Tell you what, let me get them all spread out and then chat, you can tell me what all these games are at once. Hang on. <laughs> okay, get a look. Alright, feel free to shout. Feel free to identify those games from just about 20 pixels apiece. There's like a throw. Actually, maybe the throw lives on my bed. Where it's cosy. There we go. For the extra warmth at night. And... Oh, another game for the collection. Hang on. I'm going to throw that down there so you can get a look at it. Mario Kart. Yeah, Mario Kart, everyone. Everyone's got Mario Kart. Well done. Mario Kart. Mario Kart Double Dash. Says Minerus Infernus. Well done. Bottom one is Mario. Says Victoria Jenkins. Uh, Pokemon. Says Ashraf Abdullah. Uh, Mario Kart, Mario Kart. Yeah, definitely the Mario Kart is the... Um, is the sure is the sure bet. Oh, Simpsons Hit and Run or Simpsons Road Rage. Yes! Yes, you're right. Look, that's a tiny little Homer Simpson. I love it. I am wild about these these little pixely versions of game boxes. Okay, cool. Mario, you get there. Oh, I need to do that. And that's all the boxes unboxed. Now, now for the game to grade me and tell me where I've gone wrong. I said this was low skill, but that doesn't mean you can't be wrong. So, turns out, the CD player is not welcome there. Maybe it could live here, and it could play us like atmospheric music for our D&D games. You know, it could play the Tavern Atmos. Yeah, that seems to work. Now, what's not meant to be where? This bag. Maybe I should put this bag away in the wardrobe. Like so. Okay. Game seems to like that. Game doesn't like that I've put my alarm clock under my pillow and I can't blame it. That was a bit of a gambit. Um, I guess it just has to live on my desk. And when I get out of bed in the morning, I have to go over to my desk. Hang on, let's just set the clock. Like so. Is it 10? I guess it's exactly 10. And then the monitor back up here. And the frisbee, where the frisbees go? This is sort of like the game room. Maybe it lives in the game room? Just on the floor? Nope, not like that. In the living room, under the table. Nope, not there. Well, where is the official proper place for a Frisbee? I ask you. Now I have done this bit before and I remember that the Frisbee gave me trouble last time as well, but I can't remember. Shower? Sh are you a shower Frisbee? No. Toilet frisbee? No, it doesn't even fit. Maybe it is meant to be in the bedroom, but just in a different place. Well, it doesn't sit on a chair, that's for sure. How about under the bed with all my fitness stuff? Yes? Yes, okay, that's fine, that's fine. The game says that's fine. Now, the air freshener or Febreze or what have you does not go there. Before we complete this by placing the air freshener in the right place, how are you, chat? Frisbee's gone on the roof, says Darth Angel. Yeah, that is, that's very true. Sheik in Brooklyn says, hey Jane, listening in the background at the office and now wish I had brought my Switch in with me so I could replay this game for the Easter eggs. Yes. Um, it is such a nice Switch game. Obviously, if you have Game Pass and you have an Xbox, then you already own this game for the time being. So go and get it, download it. Um, because what do you got to lose? And also, like, I think if you if you download it, it tells Xbox that, yes, please give us more of these kinds of games. But also, 
Switch is quite good. It is quite good on Switch as well. Right. Febreze. Or off-brand Febreze. Or air freshener. Um, I guess you could maybe go here with the bug spray? No. Now come on, Jane. Use your memory. Where did this... Where did this live before? What's the stinkiest room? I mean, the bathroom, right? But... It's not by the toilet. Is it on the toilet, maybe? Yes! There we go. Triumph. On the toilet, not by the toilet. Of course. What am I? Right. Oh, and then this mug I put in the wrong place. Let's tidy away this mug. And we should be done. Hooray! There we go. Our first apartment. Neat and tidy and complete. And look, we've made friends and we played D&D &D with our housemates. What an idyllic, what an idyllic first apartment. Right, where are we going to take a photo of? Let's take a photo of this living room. Okay, okay, okay. Um, uh, um. Let's try. Yeah, let's go for that. Let's go for the comic book frame. And yeah, I quite like those colours. Again, I know I used that one before, but oh, hang on. Uh, no. Zoom, slightly zoomed, and a sticker. I'm gonna say stars. Suddenly, this living room. Take the picture. Done. Yes, to leave in photo mode. And we are complete with 15 minutes left on the clock. Let's go and do 15 minutes of the next apartment. I figure we'll probably not get it completed, but please stick around. Right, Minerus in Furnace says, the game assumes stuff goes somewhere specific. I will put my frisbee in the shower if I want to, right? Who are you to tell me I can't have a frisbee in the shower? It's limited space, sure, but very clean. Ah, uh, oh, ah, uh, too slow. I just unlocked a D20 sticker, so, so that's good. Mm. And an achievement for unpacking the year 2007. We are catching up to the present day because now we step to 2010. And look at this cool person apartment I'm suddenly living in. What's that? A double bed? My first double bed? Oh, and it looks like someone lives here already. Someone who shaves. Someone who's possibly, possibly a man. Do you think this is us? Maybe this is us on the fridge. Is it a romantic photograph of the two of us together? I'm gonna say maybe. Could be. They've got weights. Whoever this person is, they've got weights. They've got a record player. They've got a an original Xbox. Oh boy, what a catch. They've got an electric guitar. Um, they've got some sort of cocktail mixing apparatus and a Zen garden. So it's painting you a picture. Am I right? Good. And like, nice view as well, right? By the way, if this is maybe Brisbane, Australia, what a great view of the bridge and the city. Cool. Oh, Luke T. Simmons says vacuum coffee. Is that maybe what this is? Some sort of fancy coffee maker? I'm not cool enough to know. Okay. Jane just moved into her boyfriend's man cave bachelor pad, says Michael Berthelsen. I think that might be what they're going for. Oh, um, sorry, Michael Lindell said, isn't that an Xbox 360? Of course it is a 360. You know, in my mind, the Xbox 360 is the original Xbox. <laughs> but of course there was a whole other Xbox. There's there's a whole other Xbox going on. And yes, you're right, those are very much the, uh, the Xbox 360 controllers. And those are Xbox 360 games. Oh, well, look, I can move his stuff around. That's fun. I don't think I could do that before. That's interesting. Oh, I, if I don't, if I'm not wrong, that's Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Um, Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare, I believe. That green um, Xbox cover. That's interesting, isn't it? That now I can move, I can move this person's stuff around. That's Halo. That's got to be Halo there. Um, so that means I can move my stuff in by moving is, I assume it's he, stuff around as well, like so, to make more space for my stuff, which is great. Okay, I'm going to put my 
my travel souvenirs up here on display next to the electric guitar. That is some sort of um, book. Uh, yeah, let's make this a bookshelf, why not? There's no books here, as it is. Do you not want to stand up? Oh, there you go. You want to stand up. And another book. Let's say this is a temporary bookshelf, because maybe they won't live here forever. And another book. Wait, is that a book or a DVD? Book or DVD? Oh, I think that's uh, that's Brokeback Mountain, isn't it? There you go, better look at Brokeback Mountain. You're very right, hive mind. well done. Congratulations on everyone who said Brokeback Mountain, because that is definitely what that DVD is. Uh, okay, I think... Do I have a workspace? Wait, where do I work now? I guess I don't have a desk anymore. Huh, check the floor plan. Okay, I don't have a desk anymore. I guess this is just gonna have to go here. Well, where am I going to do all my art? I ask you that. Alright, there we go. And that's a box done. Uh, oh, DD, DDT83 says, in an office, like the old times. Yeah. Wow, I remember that, when there were actual offices and you went you went to them and did your work there. Uh, okay, my D20 is going to live in the centre of the coffee table, private place. As is my Dungeons and Dragons figurine. Uh, Pan's Labyrinth goes here next to the box set of whatever it is. Matrix goes here. I really respect how this person has kept their copy of Johnny Darko for like, I guess it's six years now. That's pretty good going. And this is Ghost World. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. My little ukulele. Oh, I can't hang it on the wall. Should be able to hang it on the wall next to the electric guitar. Oh, pants. Literal pants. Um... Oh, okay. Getting a feel for this guy's aesthetic. It's very blue and grey and white. And where am I going to put... Oh my! Look at the state of this underwear drawer. Just pants. Not even tessellated. Not even arranged neatly. What is this relationship -y? Oh no! We're going to have some serious words about your underwear drawer. Okay, trouble in paradise. Um, right, there's my good pink shirt. Well, purple shirt. There we go, and a bra, in the old bra drawer, and some pants. Oh, uh, wait, hang on, there was another drawer under this, wasn't there? Eh, 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 there we go, like so. And bra for the bra drawer. What else we got? Oh, more pants. The pants are definitely the fiddliest part of this game. Also, I have to admit, I don't think I've ever folded uh, my underwear into a neat, like, little little bundle like that. That seems that seems a little too tidy, if you know what I mean. Excessively tidy. <laughs> Rotate the bra. Okay, what have we got going on in the other rooms? Something less fiddly to work with. In the very swish bathroom. Okay, now here's the, th here's the point at which I have to start taking things in hand and rearranging this person's stuff to make room for my stuff. Oh, okay. Hang on. Okay. You can have the top shelf because I'm going to want the middle shelf. There you go. And there you go. Cosmetics right there. And toothbrush on the sink. Nail clippers on the sink. Deal with you later. Here's our kitchen. My tea towel next to your tea towel. And... <gasps> it's a laptop, everybody. Look at that chunky Mac. I'm going to say it's like a MacBook with a skin on it. It's like a, a chunky power book. Like a, maybe an original power book. Does that work out time-wise? It's a... It may just be a laptop of, of any particular um, make. But I'm thinking because this is uh, someone with like a design background, maybe it's a power book and there's a, a tablet, like a Wacom tablet or something. Oh, and that's, um, that's like a wipe dry erase board, isn't it? Oh, big knife. Big knife goes in the cutlery drawer. Perfect. Oh, okay, chat, we've got eight minutes. Um, Shy Violet says, for a second there, I thought you meant a human skin on the MacBook. No, no, no. I mean, I mean like a fun cat sticker and maybe like a blue skin. They didn't make blue power books, did they? Um, Donna Taste Coffin says HP Pavilion. Maybe it, maybe. Maybe if you had a HP Pavilion, you recognize this kind of chunky thick laptop. 
LZ Townsend says, man, no, sorry. LZ Townsend says, I miss those chunky laptops that could kill a man easily. Yes, agree. Those like really dense Mac, uh, power books with the big chunky hinges. Luke T. Simmons says, it's all rather a bit Patrick Bateman. <laughs> um, any Hueys, Huey Lewis in the news to put on the CD player wrong era, but still. Yeah, I hope that's not what this game is turning into. Like a sinister horror movie. I suspect that's not its vibe at all. Um, but it certainly is a very monochrome aesthetic until I turned up with all my pastel goodness. Man, it's really getting me that I don't have an office anymore. No desk anymore. Okay, that is... What is that? Oh, well, that, that's Pixar's Up, everybody. I love this game. I love this DVD guessing game. Oh, but there's no space for Pixar's Up. Okay, I'm gonna have to move these books down here. So all the DVDs have to be together. Otherwise, how will we know how many movies we've got? Hmm. That is... Oh, that's a game. So that lives... I guess we could put all the games together. Let's put all the games together. Let's put the Xbox controllers over here by the TV. So they're on hand. And then let's put the games together. His Xbox games and my, uh, my other games, my GameCube games. And that's a reference book that goes over here. Okay. 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 All right. A little chicken. All right, you live up here. I feel like this guy might be slightly aggravated that I'm I'm uh, ruining his monochrome aesthetic with my pastels and chickens and stuff. Oh, I got into collecting bugs. I must have rubbed off from my uh, my roommate that I've. Brought a, a stag beetle pet, or some sort of beetle pet with me. And a d, d book, maybe? Oh yeah! Actually, that looks very familiar, the back of that book in particular. Um, it's definitely some sort of D&D &D book, isn't it? The black and white and red. And there's another one. Another one, all my D&D &D reference books and my spiral bound notebooks. Probably full of character sheets or something. And oh, running out of book space. Classic. Oh no, did we say this was the game shelf? Oh, I'm definitely encroaching on the game shelf with my books. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Okay, let's get my controllers up here. Next to the Xbox ones. The console war is over in this household. And uh, I mean it might be. If we can if we can squeeze all our games in together. Then the console war is over. Oh no, we've run out of space. The console war is reignited. Uh, no, it's fine. We'll just move your cot. We'll Darling, we're just gonna have to move your cocktail glasses to one side, like so. And, um, wait, that's gonna smash, isn't it? If I put games on the same shelf. Oh wait, there's more book space up here. What am I talking about? There's plenty of book space right here. Let's move the books up to here. This is more organised than my actual game and book collection, I gotta say. Um, oh no, oh no, there's just slightly too much book. Alright, that's gonna bug me. Anyway, anyway. Okay, okay. I feel like those should live there because look, there's, there's his CD collection there. So this does seem like the place for CDs and chickens live together. What can I say? Chickens live together. Oh, oh! I've definitely got into collecting these like highly collectible, rare, precious duck figurines. Uh oh, running out of books. Running out of book space. Okay, what if the Zen Garden became like I don't know, a more sort of cent central ornamentation? That's my ukulele how-to guide, so that has to live my near my ukulele. Oh no, book space, precious book space. Am I missing some like bookshelf somewhere? Oh, I guess look, there's some book space down there. I could kind of put it in my bedside cabinet. Let's put my precious ring binders. Uh, oh, they can't stand up right in there. Forget that. Maybe some of my little books. Some of my favorite little books can live here in my bedside cabinet. Uh, like so, like that. And one more. 
grab you, take you over here, and there. Okay, okay. I will rationalise this bookcase before we end the stream, because otherwise I just won't be able to sleep tonight. Okay, okay. That, 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 that's basically fine. That's basically fine. Okay, let's see if we can just get through. It's coming up on six, but let's see if we can get through the end of these living room boxes. And get the games unpacked. And, oh, you're a, a throw for our, our bed. And there we go, there we go. I feel like the ring binders are important. I'm sort of accumulating more of them over the years, so they're probably either work-related or hobby-related. Um, oh, there's my notebook. Do you not want to stand up? Do you not want to? Do you not want to live on the shelf with your friends? Okay, there we go. Good. Ah, ah. Come on. Come on. Okay. I guess there's no more space. Um. Oh, Donnie Darko, everybody. Drink for Donnie Darko. Mm. Okay. 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 Um. Big chunky book. Coffee table book lives under the coffee table. Of course it does. I mean, it's not a coffee table book, it's a Dungeons & Dragons book, but, you know, you say tomato, I say tomato. Johnny Darko lives with the DVDs. And what are you? Are you a book? No, you're a DVD. I can tell it's a DVD by the sound. Listen, that's the sound of a DVD case being put on the floor. That's a game. Oh, no, run out of space. Can you, can you go here? No, no space for you. All right, look. You're just gonna have to live there on the floor for now. Okay. That's that box done. And we're working our way through all the games. And then the console. Oh, okay, cool. Look, there's the Xbox. All right. Now, there's not enough space to put the Xbox on its side. So it's gonna have to go lying down next to, there we go, done. And okay, reference books. Where's the reference book space? Mm. Yeah, all right, under the coffee table. Okay, my typography book doesn't fit in there anymore. Oh no, it's too tall, too tall, it's too tall. Okay, all right, that's gonna have to go there. That's gonna go there and that's gonna go in the wardrobe. I feel like we're, we're getting there, friends. And another book, another book for under the coffee table, another reference book. Oh no, oh no, oh no, yeah, you go there. Oh, okay. All the living room boxes have been unboxed or unpacked, as it were. Um, if, mm, I'm not, not sure about, oh, wait, oh, that totally fits there. Cool. All right, good. And it is six o'clock, so we're gonna have to wrap up for now, but, um, Thank you for joining me for this very relaxing experiment in a relaxing game. I hope you've enjoyed yourselves. I certainly have. Um, mm. I am finally onto my second drink of the evening. And how is the chat? Let's just check in before we sign off. Wolf's Brain says laundry is in the dryer, so it's time to catch a nap before a night of managing UPS drivers for the rhyme. Here's a fiver. Oh, thanks, Wolf's Brain. Well done on getting your laundry done. And I applaud you and your napping commitment because um, big fan, big fan of those naps. Welcome to the channel, new member Josie or Jokey, Josie Gozman. Welcome. And also welcome to Sheikah, who is a new member on the channel also. Right, it's just about time to wrap up. <laughs> like Ginger in the chat says, shout out UPS man, I appreciate you. Yeah, everyone who's been accepting those UPS deliveries appreciates your hard work through the night okay all right everybody if you've got game pass i suggest you go and try out unpacking just something nice to fiddle with while you're um while you're relaxing of an evening it's something to do and um yeah it's just lightly interactive and and richly narrative um okay i'm gonna have to save here or quit here and come back to it I've got this game running in parallel on my Switch as well, and I'm about at the same point on the Switch, so we'll see. Maybe I'll, I'll proceed in both of them uh, in parallel. Okay, that's everything, friends. Go and 
you're free. Go, go be free. Go and get on with your lives and, and do something. Do whatever you feel like. Go and get a glass of water. And depending on what time it is where you are, either take a nap, have breakfast, go for a walk, get on with your day. Um, and I'll see you next time here on Outside Xbox. What else is coming this week on Outside Xbox? Um, well, Mike... Mike's been playing... Am I allowed to say what Mike's been playing? I'm going to say, Mike's been playing Elden Ring. So uh, look out for some exciting Elden Ring times coming up soon on Outside Xbox. All right, everyone stay safe, look after yourselves and each other. I'm going to say goodbye and I hope to see you all soon. Take care. Bye, friends. Love you. Bye. Mwah. Thank you.